So, as always, when these complicated things come up, and I'm on my way to the gym right now, but, you know, as these things come up, um, you know, especially like when it, when it actually gets to be an actual intellectual conversation, not just some bullshit or some dumb shit or some shock jock shit. Uh, that's one thing that I'll give FD signifier. I don't think that, you know, uh, he's anti-intellectual. I think, you know, he's a radical leftist, but I I don't think he's anti-intellectual and he most certainly isn't a shock jock. You know, none of the antics and the bullshit of many of the men in the manosphere that I don't, I don't fool with for that particular reason. Um, so, you know, Cap Solo and I, we have, you know, these intellectual conversations like okay this person entered the space and they have they have spoken they have said what they've said and it's not bullshit let's analyze it let's pick out what we think is bullshit and let's you know uh uh point out what is not bullshit and so we had a you know a conversation cap you know he listened to majority of the video but he didn't finish it so i'm like all right you know we'll continue this you know, when you, you know, we'll, we'll talk about up until what he heard, but I told him there's like FD signifier. Uh, he put the video on private this morning. I saw people's notifications and stuff. Uh, and then he, and then he took it off of private and I don't remember the beginning that I saw just kind of like skimming through. So I'm assuming he added a segment to it or took something out, whatever it may be. You know, I'm assuming that he re-edited it. So I told Cap, I was like, you might want to go back and you might want to look at, watch the beginning of the video again, right? Because it's a long video, two and a half hours. Like nobody is making two half hour videos like that. People understand that when it's a discussion or a debate or like blog talk used to be, because, you know, those were always like late night Saturday Uh, or Sunday, you know, Saturday night uh, talk shows and discussions that would roll into Sunday morning. So, you know, sometimes people would have, you know, two, three hour shows and stuff like that. But this is just literally FD Signifier doing a monologue. But uh, we talked about a lot of stuff and we, and, and, you know, it goes into this whole, there's really no reward in the black community. And as I said in my previous video, the main reason is because uh, these, you know, women, these ultra leftist women, LGBT community, they don't want there to be hierarchies. So if you start having to give people praise, reward, acknowledgments and all that stuff for what they're doing, specifically men for that which sustains life, then it instantaneously creates a hierarchy. You know, that he's better than you or has more, you know, value in the community or value in the space or has to be, you know, uh, looked upon with reverence and respect because of what he's doing. And they don't want that. Their whole thing is smash the patriarchy, smash all forms of hierarchy. Everybody's on the equal playing field. Nobody is better than anybody. Therefore, nobody's uh, uh, way of living is better than anybody. See, all, all this stuff is tied together to eliminate, you know, this sort of, uh, you know, the, the, the classic, the old paradigm that, especially coming from black people, anything that, any structure that they don't like, all they got to do is just slap it with Eurocentricity and that'll even get the hoteps to sit there and, and, and question, you know, the way in which they're trying to operate, you know, anything, anything that's, you know, too masculine, you know, uh, uh, you know, too, you know, Eurocentric and all that other shit. They just, they just slap it with Eurocentric, Eurocentricity, right? Just anything that they don't like, you know, and it's like, you know, what Chrissy said in one of the videos that she's did, you know, where, you know, she was talking about women being ratchet and everything. She was like, what's, what's, what is Afrocentric about being ratchet? What is Afrocentric about, uh, 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 being ghetto fabulous, right? So it's like, if you want to play this, everything is Eurocentric, right? Even though the, 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 uh, all of us as ADOS black people, we really have no connection back to Africa other than being black ourselves, but we really have no connection back to back Africa. We don't speak the language. We don't know any of the culture. We don't even eat the food. 
you know, thanks to white supremacy and slavery. You know, so like people like they they love to throw out throw these terms or you know, oh that's Eurocentric, oh that's misogyny, as as a very slick way to get people to dismiss shit without even looking at it, without even examining it. Right? So what was I saying? What was all the, where was I going with the with the with the with the point that I was making? Um uh so anyway, yeah, the whole the whole business of all of this is to basically eliminate structure, structureless environment, because only in a structureless space can things be redefined to, you know, to reflect, you know, whoever's trying to do the redefining, it, obviously to their benefit, whether it's for them to get acknowledgement, whether it's for them to replace, you know, the, the, the dominant group, you know, in the eyes of these people internally within the black community, it's the idea of men being above women or ahead of women or whatever, right? So men are the enemy. And that's their goal, right? And there's all different type of slick ways to try to get all this done. You know, I mean, even for Harriet tried it. Like, don't you want to be able to just eat ice cream and walk in sandals? You know, she said something to that effect. Basically, like, you don't have to live up to all this stuff. You can be free, right? But like I said, men can never truly be free because when shit falls apart and shit fails, we get blamed for it. Ah, oh, the community is broken because y'all didn't do this, right? Even though th these same people were the ones trying to t sell you the idea of you being free. You can never truly be free as a man because the whole, the whole concept is for you to, yes, be free where you eliminate the idea of you being in charge and all these traditional roles Yes, be free in that sense, but we still need you to be productive. We still need you to build. We still need you to maintain. We still need you to do all the hard work that we don't want to do. But yet somehow we all just seem to magically overlook the idea of, okay, who's going to do all this damn work? And if you think people are going to go out there, especially men, and do all this work, and that you're just not going to give them the praise and the accolades and, 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 and the respect... If you think that's going to happen, you're sadly mistaken. You're sadly mistaken. Like, even even within the military, like, I talked about people being buried in Arlington Cemetery, right, because they made the ultimate sacrifice. But even within the military, when people are alive, why do you think they're throwing around all type of medals and silver stars and purple hearts and medals of honor? Why do they do that? Why don't they just say, you know, yeah, a soldier, you know, you... You, you, you stepped on a landmine and, and your leg got blown off. We're not going to give you a purple heart. No, 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 no. You did your job. You know what I mean? You know, that that, that was your job. That's what you signed up for. That, and that's all there is to it. Same thing with cops. Whenever, whenever a cop dies or gets shot and everything, right? Nobody goes, well, that's what you signed up for. Nope, he's going to get the bagpipes. You know, he's going to get the, the marching down the street. They're going to bring out the Clydesdales and the... Budweiser, Anheuser, Bush, you know, horses and shit. Like, that's what they're going to do, right? As, as a police officer, he's going to get the full 21 gun salute, all the pomp and circumstance. They're going to give him his respect and his acknowledgement. This has gone on for, for forever in every society. But somehow, now in all of these discussions, it's like they want to remove all of that from men, but yet somehow still think that they're going to get the same level of productivity and that men are going to be incentivized to do all of these things. Again, this goes directly back to what I said about, you know, uh, people and this whole, you know, even Fox News and Mike Rao were up there bitching about, you know, nobody wants to work and all this other shit. Of course not. Number one, you don't want to compensate them. And then number two, you don't shit on all of these menial jobs that you say that you need. Oh, we need people in fast food and we need people, you know, doing all this, all this stuff that really gets no respect. I'm like, OK, so what makes you think that anybody's going to sign up for that and say, "Ooh, I want to be that when I grow up? You know what I'm saying? Like, if, if just go into a classroom of children and, and, and listen to them say what they want to be when they grow up. It's none of the jobs that people say that we need right now. No kid raises his hand in the middle class. I want to be a sanitation worker when I grow up. Nobody's saying that. Even if their dad is a sanitation worker. That's how bad this shit is. But yet we live in this capitalist society and we need, we obviously have people at the top and we have, you know, people at the bottom. 
you know, the, 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 the hierarchies are baked in. That's why you hear all this discussion about, you know, these, uh, you know, the, the heteronormative, cisgender, white supremacist, capitalist patriarchy, and we must smash it all. Right. But then they but like all these people are literally saying this from from the from the creature comforts that come out of the patriarchal system on, while they're sitting up there on Mount Olympus. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just it, it, there's a total disconnect, total, absolute disconnect. Sitting there eating strawberries that, that that came from Chile and completely ignoring, you know, all the logistics that got those strawberries fresh from Chile all the way up to New York. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, so moving past all of that. One of the discussions that we had was about this whole thing with these guys that are running around, and, and I, I can't deny it. I can't deny it. I've seen it too many times. When FD Signifier brought up the guy, like, here's what I hate about it. It's dismissive. It's dismissive to sit there and say that every single black man on the internet, or that the the, the overwhelming theme of all of these arguments is rooted in guys that are just mad that they couldn't get the pussy. That's dismissive. And it ignores so much that has been thoroughly laid out. It just completely ignores it. Oh, they're just mad that they didn't get the pussy. However, I can't sit here and pretend that there aren't guys that I've heard that, that like, they're bitching about black women and, and their behaviors and all this other shit. And at the end of the day, they just don't have what it takes to attract sisters. The way that, like, here's the thing, right? We talk about game in the black community a lot. What is game? Game is the ability to get things or get what you want without having... Uh, uh, more of the classical traditional tools in order to get it right going back to Brooklyn's statement that women are the currency that the ruling elite class have basically used to get men to be productive I wouldn't disagree with that statement and so all of this stuff about, you know, why do men go out here and they want to be successful? You go out there, you be successful, you, you develop talents and skills, you know, you either, you know, create a business or you get paid and then you take those resources. It's almost like getting, it's like you really want to be paid in pussy, but you're, but you go out here and you're getting paid in script. And then that script, you're like a coal miner in one of these coal mining towns and you're getting paid in script you're getting paid in uncle sam dollars so that you can attract a wife have kids you know and 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 go forward uh with you know with your legacy and your children and everything here's where the shit gets ugly now it's understandable making that argument when it comes to marriage but when it comes to the well i just want to be able to run through a bunch of bad bitches like ray ray and pookie Right. Because they're cheating the system. Going back to what, you know, my white colleague said about that, about, you know, he felt like black men were cheating the system. Right. The system was designed by white men. Right. To basically specifically benefit white men. Right. But yet black men have been kept so much out of the system that they came up with alternative ways to get certain things. They developed game. They developed the, the the ability to talk a woman out of her panties and shit like that. A lot of guys, a lot of these other races of men that come from intact communities don't have those skills. Asian guys are not known for game. Uh, white men are not known for game. Uh, uh, Arab men are not known for game. Indian men are not known for game. The closest population that's known for actually having game are Hispanic men. Right. And, 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 and arguably Hispanic men are only like a smidge above black men socioeconomically because, you know, there's a whole bunch of racial confusion that's going on there where you got people who are defined as Hispanic and, you know, they have Eurocentric backgrounds or European backgrounds. And then those that are non-white Hispanic and everything. So there's a lot of overlap and confusion and racially ambiguous people. And it kind of sways back and forth and everything. So that so the Hispanic population isn't a good population you know, to use. I'm, I'm, what I'm connecting it to are the groups that are closer to poverty tend to be able to develop those skills 
uh, or have to develop those skills in order to get what they want because they can't be like, you know, the African, you know, uh, 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 president's son who's like, bitch, do you know who I am? Come here, come here. You know who I am, bitch, bitch. You know, like they don't have to develop any of the, any game. You see this with Indians as well. You know, so, so here you got a population of black men that have developed game because of poverty. And you have black women who, being their female counterpart, they've also uh, 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 in, grown up in an environment where, you know, game is, you know, a form of currency, I guess, on their part, you know, on the women's part. So with that said, if you're going to deal with sisters, you're going to have to ha- African-American women, you're going to have to have a lot of game based off of the very much promoted hip hop culture. It's just that simple. That's just the reality. And a lot of these black men don't have that type of game, whether they grew up in the community or not in the community. You got black boys that grew up in the hood and their mothers try to keep them out of the streets. So they never got the ability to develop the game. Captain Solo was one of them. They never developed the game. They may want sisters, But sisters don't want them. Why? Because they don't have game and perhaps some other things. Maybe they don't have the looks. Maybe they don't have the muscles. Right. We all know that there's relatively, you know, this archetype of a black man that black women want. You know, think like, I don't know, Tretch by Naughty by Nature, you know, back in the 90s. You know, it was the muscle bound, cock strong, looked like he came out of prison. You know, I mean, gleaming pearly white teeth. You know, uh, uh, dark skin can't be light skin. He got to be dark skin because that's where all the hyper masculinity is. And he's got to, you know, just have a, you know, just a just a forked tongue and just, you know, be able to just talk a woman out of her panties. You know, what I mean, that is valued in the black community uh, when it comes to women. It, I mean, it just is what it is. It's like what what Mo- Melanie King said about she was like, you know, chastity is just not something that women value. You know what I mean? We want to know that you can get the girls. You know, we, we see you with a bunch of women. It's like, oh, you know, well, 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 what's so what's so special about him? Why is he getting all the girls? You know, again, the guy that's not getting any attention from any women. How, how what do you think? he like, like he can't validate a woman. The dude that the dude that has every other woman in the, in the community wanting him or he's running around slaying a bunch of women. He can validate a woman. But a guy that doesn't get that type of attention can't validate a woman like that. So what am I saying? Oh, you know, what am I saying about all of this? You know, um, yeah, there's a lot of guys, unfortunately, and, and we've seen him on Kevin Samuel's show when he was asking about who's, you know, what is a high value man? And you had all these guys calling in with these dweeby ass voices. I pick up on that shit real quick. I pick up on that shit as somebody who grew up in the burbs and not in not in the damn city. And I'm I'm sitting there, I hear all this nasally ass voice. Hey guys, what's going on, mediocre tutorials? I love your content. Hey, <laughs> I was wondering mediocre tutorials. I want to be a high value man. Like what? You, you start hearing all that nasally shit. I'm like, oh man, this nigga ain't got no bass in his voice. I'm like, oh, sisters ain't going to go for it. I know immediately as soon as I hear a brother talk whether the, you know, average sister is going to go for him. You got to have some sort of black speech, black vernacular to or at the very least know how to code switch or whatever. Make it seem like you're immersed in black culture for multiple reasons when it comes to sisters, because a lot of them already doubt black men's attraction to them anyway. So if you're not immersed in the culture, immersed in the community and you sound like. You know, you out here on some, I feel more comfortable around other races of women. She's going to assume that as well. She's going to be like, oh, she ain't in the sisters. Even if he is, I'm just saying they're going to assume that. You, you come out the gate talking like, you know, Steve Urkel. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, and he was all into Laura. You know what I mean? They don't expect that. They expect the Steve Urkels to be into Becky, Ming Su, and Maria and all that other shit. And don't get it twisted. It's a two-way street. Because while they'll sit there and they'll say, oh, I thought you want white girls and everything, chick, you ain't want him anyway. Let's be real about that. You ain't want him anyway because he just doesn't have the swag and the charisma and the masculinity and everything else that you're looking for. 
He doesn't have that. But everything that was been promoted to you, you know, in, in, in hip hop culture, in the media. So what is that? What does that create? Well, it creates it creates a big problem. It does. And 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 there is a there's a flip side to this. You know, it's like when women talk about them being the prize. Well, if you if you're going to if you're saying all this shit about being the prize, y'all don't like when men say I'm the prize. Right. Because I'm providing I'm producing again what the FD signifier clan they, they don't like that because that's hierarchies and, you know, you know, that, that that's that arrogance. If I have resources and women are like, well, we're getting our own money. We don't have to bow down to you. Right. So you get into that fight. But I'm saying if you're going to be the prize as women. Then you got to act like the prize. And if you are the prize and we're talking about the community and productivity, which nobody cares about. When they're out here just trying to fuck. Nobody cares about that community or any of that stuff. Women included. Okay? But if you're trying to be the prize and you're supposed to be the motivation for a lot of men, men out here killing themselves. Oh man, I gotta get my shit together. I gotta get my shit together if I wanna get, you know, with a particular woman or whatever. And you're out here giving it to the unproductive dudes, that creates a lot of problems. That's like you, that's like, it's the, it's World War, uh, it's, it's, it's the middle of World War One, right? And in World War One, they had these women called the White Feather Girls. They would go around and literally give white feathers to, they would give white feathers to um, women, oh, excuse me, men that didn't fight in the war. You know, like if they saw a man walking around the street, like you're not fighting, you know, here is a white feather. Right. And and you got to think about that. Basically, they're calling this man a coward because he won't go out there, sign up for the military, hop over the trenches to be mowed down by machine gun fire. Women weren't doing any of the fighting. But unfortunately, this is the part of being a man. But it's but like it. think about it like you have this war, you need soldiers to fight and women are literally sitting on the dicks of the men that aren't fighting the war. And other men see that. Other men see all the affection, all of the enjoyment, you know, uh, when it comes to romancing a woman, all of that being given to unproductive men in the community. Or men that have... You know, the hip hop illusion of, yeah, they got fast money and all that shit, but then it falls apart. And now you stuck with a baby and he's dead or in jail. Even if I could get, even if we could get away from the guys that, and again, we don't know who they are, that just wanted to run through a bunch of bitches, you know, versus those that actually wanted to get married or those that were a combination of the two. There's also the other problem of, again, women who've all gone out there, got with Mr. Wrong, had the baby, and then they want to get with Mr. Right or the guy with resources, and the guy with resources knows what you were doing. And, and part of it, I've already said it before, part of the big issue, you know, it's, it's not so much about the women, it's about the du- dudes on dudes, it's about the shit like, again, Pookie has no issue telling a productive guy or a guy not in the streets, yeah, I got you, I got that bitch off of the strength of nothing. Yeah, she was over here gurgling my nuts. I was busting all up in her face and, you know, she was squeezing the shit out of her teeth. Oh, they have no issue telling us all the foul, funky ass shit that they were doing to you. You know, and then, and then we over there feeling like some suckers, you know, you know, basically, you know, uh, you know, a woman talking about what she feels she deserves and you got to do this and you got to do that and you got to jump through all type of hoops and you got to build and you got to this. It's like, yo, that other motherfucker wasn't doing that shit. Now, here's the thing. A man cannot determine who a woman wants to sleep with and who she doesn't. That, that That's just the unfortunate reality. Going back to my man talking about, you know, you know, he's cheating the system. You know, uh, I mean, that's what it is. 
But by the same token, a man can determine which women he wants to give access to his resources to. And this is the sort of thing that's supposed to balance shit out. The only women that should be getting access to resources are the women that the men deem as quality and worthy, right? And by the same token, the only men that the women should be giving their wombs to are the men that they deem quality and worthy, right? But what happens when on either side that gets screwed up? What happens when that gets screwed up? What happens when a dude's out here talking about, you know, I want a virgin and all this other shit, but he's spending all his money in a strip club? What happens when you get a woman that's running around talking about the community ain't built and I need niggas to build and everything, but she's always sitting on the dick of the motherfucker that's in and out of prison and ain't doing shit? What what do you think happens to a community at that point? But oh no, here comes FD Signifier and the nappy headed Ahoba and the Tino R camp. And all there, well, no, see, you're trying to hold people to rules and regulations and standards, and we don't like that because of some of the other stuff in the background that may evolve out of that, like hierarchies, like being obligated to people and and having to, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, actually, you know, recognize, you know, what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? Actually, you know, it's like, I mean, just all the little stuff that, you like, I remember, you know, Cat, we were talking about, you know, he was like, look, back in the day, man, you know what I mean? You saw a World War II vet. Let's say you were in a diner and the World, and the World War II vet, you know, you were being a little loud and the World War II vet stood up and he only had one arm. And he was like, could y'all quiet it down a little? You'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, sir. And you would sit the fuck down. It, it like the, the way that the way this shit goes down today, you know, in this structuralist, standardless a world where now you got the 14 and 15 year old kids. They don't give a fuck who you are. They whooping, you know, senior citizens ass. They whooping parents ass. They carjacking. They shooting people. So this is what you, this is what happens when you don't have hierarchies and structures and all that other shit. This is what happens when people, you know, you know, don't uh, recognize, you know, what the currencies are, what the exchanges are. You know, when you have young people that are like, hey, man, man, I'm trying to, man, fuck that, man, I'm trying to get on, man, I'm trying to have one of these older black men in the community put me on, man, like, you know, I got to be what they want me to be, because I'm trying to get money like how they get, hey, it doesn't seem like a raw deal, you know what I mean, I get, you mean I get to start my life, I get to buy a home, I get to, yeah, but see, we don't have that, and see, the white communities over here, they fucking around too, about to fuck they shit up. With their, oh, if you want a home, it's five hundred thousand dollars, and oh, if you want, if you want to rent an apartment in New York, you must have forty times the rent money. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, this is the sort of this is this is how shit breaks down. Societies only work if there is an understanding, a social contract between the people that are supposed to be participating in the community once that breaks down you got nothing you got nothing now i know the jesus freaks and all the religious people they will know it's about the bible and this god and everything again i can have a more intact community than any of the shit that you're talking by putting certain key things in place plain and simple they always want to talk about, oh, people being accountable and everything. Accountability only works if you actually have something that's decent that's actually being offered up. Motherfuckers want people to be accountable in a vacuum, which is basically, you know, we just want you to fall, uh, you know, you know, you know, accept your lot in life, fall in line and behave despite the fact that you have nothing. I'm like, doesn't work like that. I'm like, people, again, nothing is in a closed ecosystem. You know what I mean? You, you you start if in other words, if being a working man starts looking too shitty, well, guess what? People are going to resort to crime. You know, if 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 being a black man in your own community starts looking too shitty, dudes are going to start looking elsewhere. And arguably the same thing could be, you know, said about the women. You know, that's what the women are running around saying. 
but too many of them want to ignore, you know, uh, all the stuff that I just laid down about, you know, those that don't want to acknowledge when, when a man is doing the right thing. When, if you got a minority of men doing the right thing and you want to increase that number, you would think that you would be jumping up and down when you see, uh, you know, a, a, a brother doing the right thing, but nobody wants to give the accolades because we don't want hierarchies. That's like me bitching. I'm saying I want there to be more physically fit uh, black women in the black community. And then every when I see a black woman and, she, you know, the rare occasion I see a black woman in the gym, I don't I don't I don't give it up. You know what I'm saying? I don't say, hey, sister, you're looking good. Even that that shit might last her another six months of keeping her ass in the gym or bringing a friend to the gym. If I want to see more fit in shape black women, I need to give it up when I see one that's working out. And oh, I'm an asshole with it. I'm an asshole. See, see, again, if you want to reinforce these sort of positive ideas, oh yeah, this the, the sister that ain't working. If they, if I got two sisters and I got one that's working out like a motherfucker and I got another one that just wants to be all average and basic, guess who's getting all my attention and and and, and, and getting all my praise? You know what I'm saying? Even even arguably you wanna say, oh well, well that doesn't mean you want to sleep with every other no, that doesn't mean I want to sleep with her. I'm saying, but I'm going to give it up because what I'm, again, what I'm trying to do. I want that other sister saying like, mm, she always getting attention. Hmm, good. Are, 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 you, are you motivated enough to get your ass in the gym? Because then I'll give you some attention if you say, damn, girl, you looking lost weight. You looking good. Again, just that. Those sorts of compliments. Same way the women want it, the men want it. But when y'all go, hmm. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't saying it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, again, not a closed ecosystem. You know what I mean? Like you do start going around, you know, in other communities, other spaces, because let, let me tell you something when it comes to these other races, everybody want to talk about the racism of other races and everything. Unlike black people, they're not, uh, they, they don't get stupid with it. Just like I said, you got white people, they don't give up. They don't care for black people. But if you notice, like I said a long time ago, you want to become a millionaire, be one of these black uh, conservatives, okay? Be one of these black conservatives. Not a, not a black conservative. You know, a black conservative, it, you know, again, there's almost no way for a black man to not be conservative to a degree when you're the one that's putting in all the work and you're responsible and everything and, and you got to be disciplined and, every, and everybody around you just not going to be, that's not going to work. OK, you, you got you respect structure and obligation and duty and responsibility and all that other shit because you're putting in too much goddamn work. OK, but um, what was I about to say about uh, 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 people, the conservatives? Yeah, the conservatives, you know, like Brandon Tatum and all that other shit, you know, they go up there and they say all the shit that white people want to hear so that white people don't feel guilty about, you know, you know their history and their racism and shit. They want they, they want to hear a black person throw other black people underneath the bus. It's not your fault. So here's the problem with these black people and personal responsibility and all that shit, right? So they throw money at them. They don't they don't care about Brandon Tatum got a white wife. You think most of these conservative white people care? Every time they every time you in the South or some shit like that, they run around mad at a black man for being with a white woman. But all you gotta do is throw you throw on that manga hat. You know what I'm saying? You go up there and you start talking them Fox News talking points. Please, they will throw you a white woman as long as you keep espousing those viewpoints. As long as you keep saying what you're saying. They don't care about Candace Owen being in an interracial relationship. They don't care about Brandon Tatum being in an interracial relationship. They don't care that they're married to white people. As, as far as they're concerned, the smart ones, they're like, yeah, they on our side. They on our side. You see, and so they, 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 you know, support and throw money at the shit that they want to see. But black people, we say that we want to see, you know, shit from the opposite gender. You know, that we want to see them do this and behave this way. But it's like nobody wants to reward the shit. 
You know, you, I, you got brothers, you know, yeah, we need to see more sisters in the gym. Uh, okay, uh, but I hope when you do see sisters in the gym or you do see a sister that's fit, that you are giving it up. You are, you are, you are, you acting like it's a goddamn dunk contest and you holding up the 10 and you acting like, you know, it's Vince Carter's jumping over the seven foot and you're like, oh, shit, you know, you, you, y'all holding each other back and shit like that. I hope that's what you're doing because shit like that is what helps increase the numbers. I don't give a fuck about, you know, let some let some precious looking chick jump up and down. Hey, why ain't you jumping up and down like me? Oh, uh, yeah. You, you see, and then to try to come in there with some woke shit talking about how you need to give her just as much praise as the woman that was putting in work in the motherfucking gym. Bitch, are you crazy? Are you crazy? You know, and the same thing goes goes for black men. I'm like, I'm like, if you see black men doing what y'all claim y'all wish there was more of, you need to give it up. Instead of this bullshit, nah, we're not giving it up because hmm, he ain't no better than me. Um, we don't believe in hierarchies because that's a part of the heteronormative cisgender white supremacist capitalist patriarchy. Really? Really? You so you so you're not gonna give it up? Okay. And then you know, three weeks later, three weeks later, he's over there with Becky. Because like I said, the, again, other communities, they recognize, see, this always goes back to what the petition said about black men not being a part of a black male hierarchy. And I will acknowledge, yeah, that is something that we need to work on in terms of working together to for shit to specifically benefit us. Not black and brown folk, not not FG signifier rainbow coalitions, but specifically black people. Because unfortunately, when you're doing shit and it benefits other people, they recognize the benefit, but your own people don't. And they don't because it doesn't benefit them. So what if a black man's off in the suburbs if that if 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 the black community is still looking like shit? So you get so so you so you gotta you still gotta recognize that part. You know what I mean? So it's it's like relative to where you're at. You know, while while I'm saying, yeah, you need to big up the brothers that are actually out here in STEM doing the damn thing and everything else, you know what I mean? I do understand why a sister wouldn't want to give praise to that if the motherfucker's over there, you know, out in the suburbs and acting like what he's doing is benefiting the black community when it's actually not. I get that. You know, but, uh, you know, this shit's got to be balanced out. Because if you're just going to sit there with your arms folded adamant about what you're not going to acknowledge, then don't be surprised if the person goes somewhere else. Because, like I said, it's not a closed ecosystem. And other groups will give that praise. You need, they need, they're not going to go out there. They they will they will they will big up a black police officer. They will big up a, a black doctor. You know what I mean? It, it, you, hey, you're serving the community. They see you in uniform. You know what I mean? How many black nurses I got listening to this video that, that, that you know, they go somewhere and they're getting free food or free drinks in the middle of COVID and then white people go, uh, we thank you for your service. We thank you for all that you're doing because they know the COVID shit is fucked up. Everybody got to wear a mask and you you sitting there actually going in there working on the COVID floor. All that shit that them white people were doing in New York, you know, every night, woo, yeah, woo, you know, clapping for the freaking, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the healthcare providers and professionals that were working to save people's lives during COVID. They know how to give it up. But with black people, we don't, we, we say we want positive, but then we don't want to give it up. We don't want to hand out any medals. We don't want to give any acknowledgement. We don't want it because God, dare it creates a hierarchy. Well, you see, brother, we don't believe in hierarchies because hierarchies is very similar to the system of white supremacy. And white supremacy created hierarchies and said that white people are better than black people. So we don't believe in hierarchies or structure or anything else. No. So we just believe in people just existing as freely as they want to exist. I'm like, God damn, you are so damaged by white supremacy. And you don't even see it. You think you're countering white supremacy, but you're actually undermining yourself in the face of white supremacy. No, brother, we can't have hierarchies because that's what the white man did. That's what the white man has, placing one individual over another. 
It's like, oh my God, man. I'm like, look, that, look, there's certain concepts that are universal. Okay, when somebody when somebody has the damn like like that video that I put on my community tab of them people in Sweden, the the the, the teachers in Sweden have to have a master's. Excuse me, not was it Sweden? Finland. The teachers in Finland have to have a master's degree in order to teach a master's degree. They only take 10 percent of applicants to be a teacher in Finland. Got some of the best schools in the entire world. And like they said in that video clip, they were like, the parents don't question the teachers because, they're hey, they're the one with the masters. They have more of an education than I do. So what do I know about teaching? <sighs> Try to tell that to some American parents. Tell, you know, you know, American parents are like, teachers ain't shit. Y'all don't know what y'all doing. Y'all ain't teaching. Not only do we not pay American teachers, but then parents want to question American teachers about what's being taught. And last time I checked, American teachers aren't required to have a master's. And so and, and then you we sit around and we wonder why uh, the American education is show is so shitty. You see? So so uh, again, like when you get people that have put in the time and the work and the skills to get the skills you know, and they, they put an effort to get the skills and the, and the talents and everything else. You know, again, you got to respect that. And a lot of black people are so anti-structure because at the end of the day, they want to be able to do whatever the fuck they want to do. They're so anti-structure that what ends up happening, it all falls apart. And that's pretty much where we are right now. It's all falling apart down, you know, from from the from the institutional level to the to the interpersonal level, right? The, the whole thing is falling apart. We do not have a functioning community. And so it should be no surprise that you have those of us, despite how much they may love the black people and black culture and certain black superficial things that don't sustain life, you know, they're making an exodus. Because, I mean, if you, if you make a list of the things that participating in the black community Make a list of what truly benefits you being a participating member of the black community. Just make a list. I bet you, I bet you you can't even come up with so much as five reasons as to why as to why being a participating member of the African American community is beneficial. Bet you you can't. You know, and it's like either people want that to change or they don't. But the way things are, you know, are currently going, please. And, you know, it, it like, no. You know, and, and, and at the end of the day, people are going to everybody is going to have to do some shit that, you know, they may not necessarily want to do. Everybody's going to have to have to have to, you know, put in the work. Hey, I'd rather go off and do this. Yeah, but you can't. Because we have a community to maintain. And when people are sacrificing their enjoyment to go and 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 freaking, you know, put in the work to benefit the community as a whole, you better be standing there clapping with standing ovation. But I already know people don't want to do that. You got Tino R sitting up there making money online, you know, uh, uh, running her fucking mouth, bumping her fucking gums. You know what I mean? With the audacity of 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 this attitude of, I, I don't dream of labor. This whole movement of, I, I don't dream of labor. Right? Because they found a way to make money online doing nothing but running their mouth, which is all predicated on the whole entire infrastructure of servers, uh, internet that they don't own, own operator control, optical wires, and all that shit that is actively being maintained by the very group of men that they despise. Shit is insane. They got the, you know, who wants to, who wants to do that? Who wants to do this? Who wants to, nobody wants to, nobody wants to do that shit, but it has to be done. I'm sure many of you have already seen that, 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 that video of that white man. I don't know. He was power washing the inside of, of, you know, some, some manhole sewer shit with roaches crawling all over his ass. You got to give it up. But instead, people look at that person. See, he's see he he deserves to do that job because he's beneath me. 
Only people who are beneath me do that type of work. And and that is where, you know, the, the, to me, the whole society as a whole has just gotten completely way off base. To the point now, I'm like, all right, I'm like, I, I swear, I, I wish that there was a, a just a day. I don't know whether it's got to be all men, but all the people with skills. And maybe we, or maybe they should just do it like in certain fields throughout the economy. Like all engineers just take a day off all over the country. Just shut it down. You know what I mean? You know, all 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 sanitary workers just shut it down for a day. And, you know, this shit is vital because air, Ronald Reagan made it illegal for air traffic controllers to freaking go on strike. Oh, they get locked up if they go on strike because they'll shut the fucking uh, country down. Truck drivers, ah, I don't want to date him. He just drives a truck. All right, let all the truck drivers shut it down. You won't be getting them strawberries from Chile that you like eating so much. You know what I mean? Like, y'all y'all really get the shit twisted. I'm saying even if you feel that way, you don't need to verbalize it. There's other ways it could still be, you know, that, that message could get across in terms of, you know, who's getting the women and who's not. That's already bad enough. You know, but but seriously speaking, you know, I, I, I wish I wish that, that like like because there's a lot of like myth out here in terms of in regards to a lot of things. A lot of black women, are, you know, black men don't do anything. I'm like, I'm like, OK, but a little bit that y'all claim that the well, little bit that y'all don't see that, y'all, that, 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 that for some reason, y'all, you know, it's nothing's being done. I'm like, I wish that black men would just go on strike for like a whole day. And just and, 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 and people see it's like that movie A Day Without Mexicans. You know what I'm saying? Just let just 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 shut it down and let and just let 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 the shit hit them because you know it's like there's a lot of arrogance here where like I'm like, now how do I make you see the importance of what men do? How do I make you see how do I make you feel that? You know what I'm saying? Because because you know, like like there's this there's this attitude like, well y'all niggas don't do anything anyway. So huh. I'm like, you know what? Yeah, we don't do anything anyway. All right, nigga, like, take a day off. Just, 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 just shut it down. Just disappear. And you'd be like, damn, I didn't, I didn't realize there were that many brothers. Oh, that you didn't realize that there were that many brothers out there working, you know, doing this and X, Y, and Z. Oh, you didn't realize. You didn't realize. You know what I'm saying? You know, I mean, shit, just, I mean, if black men just took, just took a day off, I mean, ain't nobody getting a fucking mail or packages from Amazon, UPS or anything else. There'd be a lot of shit that people wouldn't be getting, but oh no, you know, we don't need these people. They ain't shit. They beneath us. And, da, 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 da. and you know, I mean, again, it's, it, it's, you know, it's a society. Yeah, it's about, there is level, there are levels to the shit. There's no doubt about it. There, there are, there are hierarchies. There are some roles that are more important than others. But 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 all positions are needed. You know what I'm saying? Like what like when the motherfuckers in the navy and they say all hands on deck, that's all hands on deck. That's not oh, everybody below uh, the, the 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 rank of 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 this, you know, uh, sergeant first class or some shit like that. O- only you all show up on the de- like no. All hands on deck means all hands on deck. You know, but, uh, you know, Tina War and Nappy Head and Hova and and and, and, all, and and many of these other folks, they think that they're just going to be, you know, you know, uh, when pe- somebody says all hands on deck, they'll be like, well, I'll I'll just sit here. <laughs> I'll just sit here and, and at, at my laptop and, and 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 reflect on the hard work that you guys are doing. You know, I'm like, it don't work that way. You know, like I said, I don't know who's going to do all the all the work with the shit that folks are talking. Smash capitalism and everything. All you're going to have is just it's it's just going to be like it's like it's like (laughs) it's like the shit is already fucked up. And then the what people are talking, I'm like, oh, so you want it to be even more fucked up than it already is, because that's what it's going to happen. You know, Cap and I, we were making a joke about like he's like, oh, no. He's like, he's like, yeah, you can hit the bottom of the barrel, but he's like, oh, trust. There's a level that's below the, it, it's below the barrel. It's so below the barrel. You got to get out of the barrel and then dig underneath the barrel. And, and, and that's where we'll be. He's like, oh, oh, I'm like, oh, so you could go from zero to negative five. He's like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. We'll, 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 we'll drop down into, into negative 15. 
you know, because because people, you know, I mean, I mean, talk. Of, I mean, you're going in the opposite direction. You're not even fixing the problem. You're actually becoming even more regressive. That the one thing I don't care. I don't care what your favorite color is. I don't care what your favorite gender is. I don't I don't care if you like your your, your Fruit Loops. I, I don't give a fuck. You're not getting around the, the, the aspect of hard work and the incentives to get people to do the hard work. It's the same shit that I say when I talk to these white folks and I'm like, hey, you ain't getting around me when it comes to the money. Now, nah, motherfucker, if it takes twenty dollars for you to maintain your community, it's going to take the, it's going to take the same goddamn twenty dollars for us to maintain our shit. White people out here thinking, oh, well, black people, you know, you should be good with this three dollars. Like some and, and then and then criticize us uh, about not being able to do with three dollars what it took them twenty dollars to do with. I'm like, man, fuck you. You're not getting around me when it comes to this goddamn money shit. And again, you're not getting around me when it comes to the hard work, plain and simple. You're not getting around me, you know, so that people can talk all the idealism that they want, all the all this, you know, all this, you know, theory, theoretical shit that they want to talk about, all this shit that they teach you in, you know, liberal arts colleges and whatnot and women's studies and everything. But everything. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the, 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 the fact that the work has to be done and who's going to do it. And who's and who the majority of people are going to be. That's not going to change. Women are, as, as Jordan Peterson said, women are into people and men tend to be into things. Plain and simple. And those things are the things that sustain life. Those are the things, you know, we could talk about, well, I'm an excellent, I'm an excellent educator. I'm an excellent kindergarten teacher. You're, you're right. You're an excellent kindergarten teacher. I wouldn't take that away from you. And we do need kindergarten teachers. But guess what? You can't be a kindergarten teacher unless some construction workers get over there and build the damn uh, a school for you to be a, con- teacher, a kindergarten teacher with a nice little safe space with, with the with the damn carpet, with the damn railroad tracks on it and the alphabet and all that other stuff for, for you to do proper teaching. Yeah, that's right. There'll be a whole bunch of strong, independent women walking around this office building that are educated and got a whole bunch of degrees. But not until the men get finished constructing the building and laying the foundation and bringing that 600 pound air conditioned unit on the roof first. When they get done that, oh, yeah, you can come in here and be as strong, independent as you want to be. But not a moment sooner. And until you all realize that. You know. You're going to continue to see a mass exodus and you're going to continue to see a broken community. Anyway, that's all I got to say. That's my video. Uh, Don't forget to comment, share, like and subscribe. SWP and I'm out.